Tesla are working on a robot. A lot of people say it is a waste of time, but if you can do something even remotely resembling what Yumi can do, then I'm all in. Bring on robotics, bring on AI, Bring on scary robots chasing... No, no, kidding. I don't want that to happen. There is an autonomous robot called Yumi, which is actually reversing deforestation in the Amazon. If this isn't the coolest use of a robot that I've seen yet, then, well, I don't know what is. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to have you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you so much to our Patreon supporters. Really couldn't do this without you. And of course, YouTube members, great to have you as well. By the way, if you wanna be a YouTube member, I'll put a link in the description. You get access to some of our videos a few days in advance. Yumi, the autonomous robot, is really changing the way we see the world. Now, whenever I hear this stuff about deforestation in the Amazon, and not only the Amazon, but other places around the planet, I do feel a little bit like bothered by this. I, kind of have a bit of an emotional reaction. I think you, like, you know, you, yeah. And I've seen some documentaries on people doing this and they're just destroying the place. They, they really are. And they're not only destroying it, but they're cutting down like trees that are hundreds of years old, uh, which are just iconic trees. They don't care, couldn't care less, whatever. So it is pretty saddening to watch, which is the reason why to me, when I saw this news story, I went, yes, we got one back on them. Imagine hundreds and hundreds of Yumi's all around the Amazon, just racing around, planting trees everywhere so quickly that they just start growing on top of all these tree poachers. That would be cool. ABB Robotics has partnered with US nonprofit organization, Jungle Keepers, to allow the firm's robot called Yumi to help the organization of the reforestation of the Amazon. The new machine is automating planting tasks in a jungle laboratory, speeding the process and allowing jungle keepers, volunteers to focus their valuable time and resources on more impactful work. Now this is really interesting and I'll get into this in a second, but keep in mind there's actually also drones now that can shoot seeds into the ground. They can pick the right type of seeds for the environment, the right area, and they literally just fly around shooting seeds into the ground at the right depth. They can kind of like get an idea on the hardness of the soil, how far they should shoot the seeds in the ground. And they just fire them into the ground and they just fly around constantly. So Yumi is backed up potentially by these other autonomous seed planting robots as well. Now it takes a while, of course, for these trees to grow, but hey, it's better than nothing. This is a press release from ABB published on Tuesday, talked more about Yumi. ABB's collaboration with Jungle Keepers demonstrates how robotics and cloud technology can play a central role in fighting deforestation as one of the major contributors to climate change, said Sami Alia, president of ABB Robotics and Discrete Automation. Our pilot program with the world's most remote robot is helping automate highly repetitive tasks, freeing up rangers to undertake more important work out in the rainforest and helping them to conserve the land that they live on. The robot has been sent to a jungle lab in a remote region of the Peruvian Amazon, where it is busy digging holes in the soil, dropping seeds in, compacting the soil on top, and, making, and marking it with a color-coded tag. The end result is that, thanks to Yumi, an area the size of two soccer fields can be reforested every day. And thanks to a single robot, two soccer fields can be reforested every single day. I don't know if this is outpacing all the logging going on, but we can make more Yumi's, all right? We can't make more people, unfortunately, that are willing to do these jobs, but more Yumi's. And then eventually we can sort of maybe rob, rob, and then we can eventually sort of automate some of the other jobs that Yumi isn't currently doing, which are done by people. This is the way I see it going in the future. As of right now, we have lost 20% of the total area of Amazon rainforest Without using technology today, conservation will be at a standstill, said Moshin Kazmi, co-founder of Jungle Keepers. So it's not Jungle Keepers that are, it's not really in their interest to say, hey, this, this robot works really well, but it clearly does. So they're saying, hey, it's, it's fantastic. 
Having Yumi at our base is a great way to expose our rangers to new ways of doing things. It accelerates and expands our operations and advances our mission. The Amazon is in danger. That's why we need technology, science, and local knowledge to work together in order to save it. Otherwise, we will be too late. The rainforest can be saved, but we must bring together all these elements to make a difference. Now that comment came from Dennis Del Castillo, who is the Director of Forest Management at the Peruvian Amazon Research Institute. He said, it is very important to have a combination of high technology and conservation, basically working hand in hand. There are many, many technologies that we can use to preserve the forest, and this robot helps to make reforestation a lot faster. But we have to be very selective. We have to use it in areas of high deforestation to speed up the process of replanting. It is estimated that more than 336,000 miles, square miles, 336,000 square miles, that's 870,000 square kilometers of the Amazon rainforest has been devastated since 1985. Hard to understand, that's just enormous because that's an area the size of France, the United Kingdom, and Belgium combined. How is that even possible? How can that happen in, what, that's 38 years? Deforest the entire, loca the entirety of the UK of France and Belgium. France is a big country, by the way. Lots of Yumis, and hopefully, this will solve that issue. Maybe not today, but at some point in the future, I can see this reforestation beating out the deforestation, and that excites me. What about you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thank you for watching.